This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis. We are music love life. Welcome to another episode. I am the love. Ladies and gentlemen. She says yes. she's the love. I am the love. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Women always, I am so soft and loving and gentle. I and am, just be so I, cruel I, on the inside. Yo, <laughs> bitter. <laughs> oh, my Not goodness. Bitter. Not you, Crystal. No. Just women in general. I think that's where it come from. Bitter. <laughs> I don't know what that. No. What I don't was know that, what? like, on Sesame Street when they were like, bitter. <laughs> you remember that when they put the words together? <laughs> <laughs> no one else remembers Sesame Street? No? no? Whatever. I mean, I remember Sesame Street, not that part. Though. They Sounds put plausible. the words together. No, I get it. You have to clap it out. A- right? p- oh. A- p- oh. Apple. <sighs> I, I love like Sesame songs. Street. <sighs> I did. Anyway. That's a fun memory. It is. It's, it, it, you know... <sighs> Speaking of bitter, I have a question. I would like you guys to decipher man speak, right? Okay. So, so what fool done told you this? No, I just, I, I just realized that I don't speak man, and so you just realized this. I no, I've known for a while, but it's becoming blatantly apparent that I don't understand what the hell y'all are talking about. So, all right. So a guy gets a guy that I know is in my DM, and, you know, he asked me out. Well, first of all, one of my friends told me that he had a crush on me. We go out on a date. There weren't any sparks, right? No for harm, who? no foul. Sparks. No I don't sparks think for, for either you? one of us. So he looked disappointed? Um, No, but he didn't call me out to ask me out again. Okay. So I, And I didn't call him to ask him out again. So I just assumed that we were friends, right? Or kind of, like, not really, he, like, social media what people. What went wrong? Did he not shower you with diamonds or something? I just, there was just no sparks. Did no. you pay for your food? No. Oh. No, no. But I don't know. It's just, there was no sparks. But so he, so this is, like, three years later. Like, he still will like my pictures. And that's weird to me because I'm like, if we go on a date and, and there's no sparks, why are you still liking my pictures? Like, you obviously didn't like what you saw, so... What are we still doing liking pictures? But okay, cool. I'll, I Occasionally I say thank you. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. So he comes in my DM today and asks after, um, he was like, hey, I may come and get you. And I was like, boy, please. May come and get you? Yeah, like I'm going to have to come get you because I guess he thought he thought a picture was particularly attractive. Hmm. So Is that I, like when guys tell girls, I'm going to kidnap you? I don't know what that was, but I was just like, boy, please. So he was like, okay. Permitive. Yeah. Okay. So then he says... <laughs> Then he says, um, would it be a, would you be offended if I ask if you and I could get together and have a little fun every once in a while? Would you mind? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you don't know the words. fun? <laughs> Question mark. Because he put those in quotations. So he said, basically, he was at, he said sexual. So I was like, so is that, is, it, is that him calling me a whore? No, no. He said fun. Because it feels very much like he's saying, okay, I don't want to date you, but I would like to fuck you every once in a while. Would you like some penis? No. Because if I wanted some, I would have got some then. I mean, maybe maybe yeah. times are different. You know, you got to negotiate when you, the leverage. He realized maybe he didn't have the leverage back then, but maybe he's been looking at your post like, she's been in her post by herself for a lot of po- a lot of weeks now. This 62 weeks of, you know what I'm saying, single <laughs> post. You know what I'm saying? He might have been counting. This nigga might have been weeks. counting. He's like, I, week 63. He might have had some. Up. See, there may but have been what does situations. That say about a woman. Nothing. What, what? Why would you take that personally? Because it feels very personal. Let me tell you about the birds and the bees. This is how it works, right? <laughs> <laughs> the man no, I mean, puts with, his wee wee in. <laughs> <laughs> but if a man says, I don't want to do anything with you besides have sex with you every once in a while, am I not to assume that that means that he doesn't think I'm good enough to be a girlfriend? He thinks I'm only good enough to get ass from? Well, maybe he doesn't want a girlfriend. Here's the thing, right? Well, here's the the problem. Y'all want guys to be honest, and then when they are honest, you think they're calling you a hoe. It's mixed signals. What do you want from this guy? Most guys aren't great communicators. I blocked him. You You blocked blocked him? him? Yeah. 
He's, he gives you that a was, like. That's, that that's, was rash. That's, it wasn't rash. That's currency. He gives you likes. I don't care about that. What? What? Uh, why? Why else would anyone be on Instagram? <laughs> Aren't you on Instagram for likes? What else are you, would you be there for? Well, I don't want to be insulted, and I feel as though he insulted oh, me. Oh, I don't think he insulted you. I think that really? he asked. He asked that's you. What a, I'm asking you guys, man, speak. He asked that's you an adult. An he asked you an adult question, and it, and it deserved an adult response. I don't know if blocking him was adult. I think that's kind of like. That's counterproductive because what happens is is now this guy goes back and says, "Well, I can't be honest with women." No, I I mean, I'm sure he will, but I mean, I just didn't like his honesty. That's not saying that you can't be honest because I didn't like what you said. You should still be honest. We're just not friends. What part didn't you like about it? Let me find it. <laughs> mm. See, you don't even remember. That's right. how no, I know it I wasn't No, I did not like it at all. It was very, it said, would you be offended if right. I just wanted to have a little fun with you? Right. Bitch, what the fuck do I offended. look like? Offended. He asked, would you be offended? He's asking before I'm you get offended. I'm not a toy. Kind of, though. Not you. What? No, 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 no. Not you specifically, but kind of. Fun. He's saying, I would like a toy. Do you want a toy? I'm not a toy. He wants to be your toy. He's saying, would you like to play? <laughs> yes, he wants to be your toy. He's not saying that you're a toy and he's you're just to be at his every whim. Yes, he's saying yes. let's have some fun. Fun is both sides. Everybody's having fun. Well, I We're would like to let there's him. no harm in fun. I would fun like to let him and every guy know that if a girl wants to have fun, there are there are <clears throat> several places that we can go for fun. They are the National Football League. Trapeze. They are I said the National Football League. I said trapeze. I, I, <laughs> that doesn't take away what I said when you say it. it right. <laughs> the National Basketball Association. Um, okay, hmm? I'm, you started us off saying, "Does this make you look?" Does he, is he calling you a hoe? And then she proceeded to talk about the places where all the hoes go to get men. No, no, no. Why? Okay, what? No, that is not where the hoes go. And then, I'm furthermore, saying, you don't think he's been listening to the show, hearing about your brand new vagina like, and how it's been used? He like. Ooh, brand new. I want to try out some new vagina. Right. Guys, I still have not used it. And man, I don't it, ain't, believe it ain't nothing like new pussy. That shit, that shit old right again now. now. No, it's not. <laughs> it's holding. It's holding. How have you not used it? I have not. I don't. I, I'm on a celibacy journey. I am a year. A and journey? Th- a year. Where are you and, going? I am a year and three weeks in, and I have been talking to women across the country that are celibate and have been for years and I don't think are coming out. What's the end game? I don't know. I'm just in this thing now. Now So what happens happens when you get to the end and you're like, (laughs) it's like Scientology. (laughs) When you get to that eighth level and you find out that we were just playing. I was talking (laughs) to one of my friends. She has been celibate for 12 years. No. It doesn't work anymore. No. It it stops working. No, I don't don't believe that. You know what atrophy is? That is a dirty lie. I do know what atrophy is. Vagin- vaginal atrophy is actually a, there's a disease. I can't remember a condition. I don't know what it's called. They're act- I promise. I wish I had time to no, Google it. Cobwebs I've seen come it. out. No, you seen it? I've seen that. Live. And you can do things to keep from having atrophy in the vagina. What? No. You, know, you can do you know kegels. Can have sex. <laughs> you can. Easy. Uh, you can do yeah. kegels. Kegels, 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 and and also there are there are balls. Why? Balls? There are balls. They're attached to <laughs> yeah, a dick. Right. <laughs> Quit trying to tap there around it. You know you want those ain't chin mats. You got a dick in your tap. mouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus, help us! I'm just saying, no. how you have to use this. Come on, I don't That's have to use campaign I'm 2019. I'm concerned now. No, I'm <laughs> You're a little concerned? concerned now that I the newness. The newness, like I don't know if it's gonna be just from. She the, block you on all the all the pages, man. Just walk in another one, no, right? He, find he's your not way coming through. back. What if we What if we were to find an NFL type guy who's out here right now? And but is he gonna just say that he just? I I don't. No, I'm, no, no, I'm, is, I'm waiting for someone that's very special, and I will tell you this: the longer you wait, the easier. Is that Washington Sun? Is he, is he special? He is. special. He just wants to have fun, though. No, I'm not doing it. No, not doing it. Chris I'm Brown. Not. No, I'm not doing it. You know what? Who's our crush? I can't remember all, who All is. jokes aside, though, mm-hmm. I, I think... Do you respect it? You have I, to respect I, it. I, I do. I do. Thank you. I think you get what you accept. Exactly. And if you accept it at... Thank if you, you accept it at the lowest level... I'm not. Of, ...of physical pleasure... And what was that? And that's you it. You want to have some fun... Nigga, no. If that's what you wanted, right. then that would be, and that'd be okay. Right, I still don't think I'm that liberated. you necessarily needed to block yeah, him. Yeah, because he for just asked it. You could have just told him no thanks. Yeah, no thanks, buddy. Well, I was offended. I was offended. Step it up. I'm looking for more. Ooh. 
Now that's quality right there. Hey, buddy, you got to step Counter it up. Offer. I'm looking for more. Counter that would offer. that would really make yes. his mush mouth. He, he he would feel that, and you could still be like his <laughs> friend. So that means you could witness him eating crow. Well, yeah, like what's wrong with what's wrong enough. with saying I do not want a toy. I actually want to be married. That's what what's I feel. Wrong with but that? I, well, every guy acts like that's like horrible and stupid. So I'm just Being saying. Married? What? Yeah, you didn't. Did you didn't even ask him? You didn't give him a chance. No, because I, I was offended at, at what he said. Do you? Do you? He might have turned around and been like, "Well, damn." I yeah, don't want to know. Odd. Shit. Well, I guess I don't. Want this is a. You know what? Okay, I I I mis I misjudged the opportunity. Let me come. I just correct. feel like if you would look at my if he'd gone out with me and and the fact that he had asked my friend about me for a long time and all you came up with is, "Do you mind if you and I get together and have some fun?" Because he was like, "I heard about her." Eh. I'm not really interested in all that smart shit. I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, I I, that's she, the reality. She's a classy woman, but I'm not. I don't, I'm not classy. I ain't got time for that shit. But every woman wants to have a little fun. That's what women I don't like fun? In. No. So I mean, Girls yeah, you should just say just no thanks. So, you know, have fun. Step it up. I like that song, but not that type of fun. Yeah. So anyway, I'm a year and three weeks in from for celibacy. Yeah. Because not the new vagina. That's only been a no. Few that's months. since October. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. It's spoiling. It's not spoiling. It's got to be. It's I don't think it's be. spoiling. I think it's going to be amazing. Well, I think look, that that's, whoever that's my odd. that's odd to like put your pussy in the garage for nine <laughs> months and, and then on it. take it out just to get it detailed and stick just it right back it. in the garage. <laughs> yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that that was what was going to happen. I thought maybe you I starting mean, a pussy museum. <laughs> you have to climb and control your draws. <laughs> just whenever love comes, I'm ready for it. It's just mm. I'm waiting on it. Mothballs When oh. love comes When love comes I'll be waiting You can find love I just don't know If you're gonna like The package that it comes in What does that mean? See what I did there? <laughs> what is, package What does that mean? It means well, that you, There's you, gonna be some some. You said love I don't like the word settle But I mean I, you, you guys Get the package That they want Do we? Yeah Why? Because every time you think we don't settle for some things, you think that there's nothing I'm that me and my wife haven't package, settled for. The look of the look of the package. Well, that's not what he's talking what? about. Well, that's he, what that, I'm talking. That's about. not what he meant. He's talking you about. You can't say what he meant. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll wait. Fair enough, right? But however, that's what I meant. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Like he's what talking else? about the pack, the entire thing, all encompassing. Okay, package. I don't mind if there's some issues. He okay? might be like. Five, four. I don't, that's not the issue that I'm looking for. <laughs> that's not the issue I'm open he's to. He's five, four, really smart, but so smart that he's a little socially awkward. No, how about this? How about he's six foot two and has a lot of muscles and he's uh, a little small socially penis. awkward. Look, every human has a lot matter. of muscles. How, how, how many muscles point. are there in the human body? Every human has muscles. <laughs> <laughs> and it's January right now, so there's tons of people in the gym. Still in the gym. That's true. They ain't quit yet. Not yet. They, that's true. they don't quit until like Planet February Fitness 20th. Gives you, it's a one dollar down and ten dollars a month. That's one right. month. Ten dollars a month. They got I think a few more days. As long as I'm, I'm open to all of that. I'm open to all Five, of that. Five four. I didn't say that. Not open. To but that. it just it has to be someone tall with a muscular build. That's that's I that's the so. only way that you'll accept love. I just don't understand how love will come any other way. I think I want to. You think it, love ain't never come in the form of a fat guy? <laughs> yeah, it happens. I think has, has love come for you in the form of a fat woman? Sure. Yes. Why not? Have you accepted it? Have you welcomed it into your home? I did. I don't believe you. I've never seen it. I've never seen you with a fat girl. Well, you don't know me. <laughs> yes, I do. I would what? like to. I would like to invite any guy that's six two with muscles. Just come on the show. We'll have a we'll have a little interview with you. And I mean, you know, I'm not promising you anything, but let's just let's have the conversation. We might need to do a speed dating event or something. Did you guys see there? The speak there is a show on Netflix called You. I've been watching that. Have you been wife. watching that? Yeah, is that, that not yet. freaky as hell? Okay, I have a couple of problems. Okay. One is they're painting guys in a really, really bad light. I thought that was true to form. See, and that's what I said to my wife, too. I was like, <laughs> guys don't act like this. She's like, yes, they do. I'm but like, he's a sociopath, though. No, not him. The professor, how he's touching her hand and her knee. No, and they her, do do that. To, for her, that, for her, that is her what, job. That is what guys do. See, I don't believe that. I don't believe but that. I've had that happen. I'm, but, I, I'm in a situation with that right now but, where this guy is trying to oh God. <laughs> force me into... Having a relationship with him for business. What is wrong with my worldview? I don't see that all guys because are like this. Because you're a guy. No, because no one's doing that to you. I'm not. I don't. Maybe because I don't do that. I don't know anybody who does that kind. Of, well, I know one guy. You know what? That's you that's, do know one guy. That yeah. is <laughs> that is guy. the sobering thing He's about what's happening in society right now. Is because like everyone's like I hear or almost on the daily, mm -hmm. women are saying men are trash. Yes. Men are trash. Men are trash. Like M A T, <laughs> without a doubt. Matt. Right. However. 
I don't know guys that do that. So I'd be like, but yo, where are y'all finding these dudes? I don't know a guy that reaches under the like, table and, and... But you... Because it's never happened to you. Grab somebody's hand while they're talking and look them in their eyes. I know. Eye. I've, I've had that happen with a lot of guys. Like, I want to <laughs> believe women in terms of their experience when they say this has happened to them right. or that's happened to them, so on and so forth. But a guy is not going to tell like, you if he does that, though. No, I would see it. We, you know yeah, what I'm but saying? we, we know. It. No, because I'm <sighs> telling you, when men do things like that, first of all, they do it in company usually that doesn't either... Company that's of like mind or when you're by yourself. Okay. So it, it unfortunately, just like we had the R. Kelly conversation, a lot more men, I re, I can tell you numerous incidents of older men, men over 25 that were hitting on me when I was between the ages of 13 and 17. A lot. And every guy is like, I don't know any guys like that. Like, how could that be possible? Because... That happens, if you ask any woman, she's going to tell you, yes, she was hit on when she was in high school. Very clear. The high school's right there. I leave. I have a cheerleading outfit on or a track outfit on. Guys are hitting on me. So obviously it's happening. I think that men that are, there are a lot of good guys. That you guys are just unaware because it's not happening to you. And women are not talking about it, especially African-American women. We've been taught to keep things to ourselves. I never told Anybody that my high school coach would look at me when I was when I would ride home with him, I felt uncomfortable, but I never told anybody because I just thought he didn't really do anything wrong. Later, when I became an adult, I realized, oh, that was wrong. I should have told my mom, you know, but I think that there's a there. And I also think I know we're going to get into this because of the, the situations going on with, with you, rape. You can turn that, that, you can turn that off. I'm if you sorry. Want. It he's, just keeps coming. He's through. texting you now. Like, <laughs> I can't believe you talking about me on the show. <laughs> it's not him. Doing all when eggplant but, emojis. When I see no. him, I touch your hand and look you in your eyes real deep. <laughs> but I think that I think that in order to make the conversation equal, women who are lying about different things that happen to them that get caught need to be held accountable so that men feel better about the situation because men are like, no, no, no. And then there are situations where women have lied, Good right? answer, good answer, good so answer. So I think, no, I, th I think that, I mean, I, I really wanted us to talk about this today because we know that Chris Brown was accused of rape and literally hours after the accusation, after the after TMZ could not wait to post, right. Chris Brown arrested in Paris for rape, few hours later, he was released without charges being pressed. And this continues to happen. And women are not held accountable for their actions. So what happens is men see situations like this and they think, all these bitches are lying. And it's not because if we would hold those women that lie accountable, then I think it would open up the conversation to where men could realize, okay, you guys are not just all being emotional. That does happen. Don't stop there. What about the women who lie about child support and somebody being their kid? Like, it needs to go all the way. We need, yeah. we need to turn that whole thing where women are always right no matter what, and we're just going to go with the woman's side of it. I think that good dudes are eventually going to have to push back. And, and it sucks because it puts us on the side of... Victim shaming or whatever, mm -hmm. because we're not sure. But it's not well, it's victim not, shaming. We're if not the woman sure, but right. it's, it's also not manly. It's it's also not manly. Like when 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 women commit certain infractions, it's kind of looked at like mm, she just, hey man, just take your lumps and gone about your business, right? And we just kind of let her just exist or go on and and possibly do it to somebody else, but mm -hmm. we don't we 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 don't. We seldom do we just like grab women and say, Shake them you're going to be held accountable for your wrongs and <laughs> well, we're throwing the book that, at you. Women I don't, don't get think the that book we need to them. grab them. Um, I think that we could just tell them we don't need to be grabbed. Uh, tell them hard, hard, like tell them real no, hard. Like, uh. like there should be consequences and repercussions for lying on someone. That I think I told you guys, I have a good friend. I mean, that should be you a guys, form of assault. It, it should. No, it, it should be worse than that because you should, I think you should get a, a punishment comparable to what that person would have gotten if he had been wrongfully accused of rape. So five to seven? I Let me say, let me give you an example. A friend of mine that you guys know was accused of rape by an artist, right? Now, he's a manager, right? So she accused him of rape. She told myself. She told a member of the press, right? Huh. And she was in tears. I believed her. I'm friends with this guy. I, I didn't say anything to him because I, I automatically believed her because she was crying. And I just thought, wow, why would she? You know, I, didn't, I never thought that Such she emotion. would lie about that. Right. right. Such emotion. So years later, so I, you know, I kind of, pulled back a little bit and I was just really hurt. I ended up, she ended up accusing someone else and 
um, actually accusing an, a celebrity of of uh, forcing her to do something or um, a sexual situation, and came out and on a tape that she had lied about accusing my friend of rape. Mm-hmm. Now, I went back and had the conversation with him. He was upset with me for believing it, which he had every right to be, but. In my defense, I really, I just could not imagine why a woman would sit there and do that. Now, imagine if that tape of her crying had gone to the police. He would have definitely been arrested, and most people would have believed her over him because she she was given examples, and examples, by the way, that had never happened. Um, he could have lost his livelihood mm-hmm. because in the music industry as a manager, someone can decide, I don't want that person to manage me anymore based right. on what happened. So his entire, he has children, Everything in his life could have totally changed based on her lying because he would not help her career get to another place. I feel like she should be charged just as severely as he would have been because she could have basically taken his life. That's taken someone's entire... I mean, deserve to be removed from society. Think about the fact that other people... Other people that she talked to that we may not even know may think differently of him because of what she said. Not just that. There may be people that she's done this to who... We don't know it all either. And they right. may have just paid her something just to get her out, or who Absolutely. knows? Who knows what? And it, and she keeps going unchecked. She's inspiration to other women who, other who may women, have that right. idea. Right. And, and I think a lot of times when, and I hate to say this because I'm definitely an advocate for women, but a lot of times with women, when things don't go their way, then it becomes I don't want to admit that I gave up the sex to him. I don't if he doesn't decide he doesn't want to be in a relationship with them, or he doesn't maybe give them what they want. They decide they're going to make up this story to protect them, and they don't realize that story has the ability to hurt that person's everything. Like, it should be just as criminal of an act as rape. Lying about rape should be just as just as equal um, to me as rape because it really has the same effect on a person's life. Think about it. They're looked at as a rapist. I don't think there's anything it's, it's, lower. It's definitely a scarlet letter on top of the the jail time and loss of your career, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I hate to say it, but especially in today's society, like in hindsight, I think back that that was actually one of the first conversations that I had to have with my parents mm-hmm. about sex. When it was, when I was a teenager, they were like, okay, it looked like you, you know, you're starting to, and I know you play ball, <laughs> right. and these girls is giving you a little attention and all that. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it was not only, you know, wear a condom, so on and so forth. Right. It was be careful because certain type of girls will willingly lay mm-hmm. down with you, mm-hmm. and then when it's over, they'll say, he raped me, mm-hmm. and get him, daddy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it it becomes a totally like the I, I hate that we've weaponized being a victim. Mm. Did you coin that term right there? I don't Did think I'm that, that smart. <laughs> but I do. I, I hate it. that we've weaponized <laughs> being a victim. If he it, coined as a penny. <laughs> it ain't like no quarter and then Yeah, you know, but somebody said it. But I I think that's a part I think that needs to be a part of the Me Too movement. I mean, I can't say it because I'm a female, but I think a man needs to stand up and say cuz I think there's 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 a there's a atmosphere right now that has men afraid. Yeah. You know? Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. good dudes. Or they yeah. like, you know what? There's actually a movement called MGTOW. It's kind of what? stupid, but that's not a good act. Too many words. MGTOW, but it's kind of stupid. Men go the other, going the other way. It's really like that's not good. I need, I need vagina. I don't know what that these guys sound. are talking about. <laughs> that's a part of my. That's I, like, I'll go with Al Bundy's no, ma'am, but I ain't <laughs> no, ma'am. Yeah, what I think it needs happening. I just said I said this in Slack today. I think that um, maybe we need to be accountable as well. And you know, far be it from me. To say women are right sometimes, but I think that maybe some. Are you all recording this? A few more of us <laughs> need to start pointing fingers at these fuck boys. I agree. There's accountability, when we, when we, but then we need as women. We need to. We need to hold other women accountable, and you guys trainees? need to hold. Oh no, oh. no, no! They're taking your womanhood. That's not what I'm saying. They're taking your womanhood. What I'm saying left right. is, my mother told me just like your parents told you. That if I went to the, if I was you know when I went to college if you're in the football dorms and you're there the only girl by yourself you have no business being there there are certain things you can do to avoid putting yourself in a bad position not saying that anyone ever deserves to be raped right. however if you are purposely I've gone to events especially celebrity driven events or just events here in Atlanta and different places where girls are getting so drunk. 
like literally opening up their mouths, guy putting the liquor bottle down it, and you're getting that drunk to where I'm I'm watching as another female, and I see the girl is now incapacitated. She's sloppy drunk. Right. Her her skirt is up. Her panties are showing, and and I've seen guys back off like, Ew. Yeah, fuck no. you know, I'm, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have sex with that. I've seen a no lot way. of guys yeah. back off and try, and the girl keep coming at them. So I think that women have to stand up and hold women accountable. Like, girl, you don't deserve to be raped. However. You're doing too much, and you're putting yourself in a position See, that you can be. That's why, just let's, too not, much. let's not even say rape. Like, like you, you're doing too much. You don't even right. have mm-hmm. con, you don't have control of your faculties. Right, right. You why should would not you ever be, be anywhere. Somewhere. Right. There's, there should never be a place that you're at Mm-mm. where you are not in control of yourself. Absolutely, I ever. Agree. But what I'm saying is, uh, uh, it's a lot more serious. And I'm, I'm actually saying, if you're a friend of mine and you do, and you do things like pull your dick out unsolicited or touch on vaginas. When people sit in your lap or whatever, whatever it is that you do, don't do that shit around me because I'm gonna give you a ten minute head start. I'm just letting you know right now. <laughs> and, the, and the punch is coming. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna report them. Oh, I'm ten oh. minute ten minute head start. It's 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 2019, uh, and I'm this is my statement. I'm saying that if you're a friend of mine and you're doing these types of things around me, I'm gonna give you a ten minute head start. He's not gonna I, punch you. He's just gonna call the police. I don't need those kind of friends, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I don't, don't need those friends messing it up for people who are out here doing the right thing. Right. Everybody has to be accountable, and sometimes yes, women lie, but sometimes dudes are actually raping women. And right. Mm-hmm. And somebody, I think I think that would work. I think if you guys hold, and if good men hold bad men accountable, and women are like hold other women accountable, like you know good and damn well that that guy, like this guy, was like if 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 guys, most women know. And if you don't know now, you do. If a guy reaches out to you and asks you to come to his room, he just wants sex. We, we know that. That's, that's elementary. If you go to the room and then get up and then start messing around with him, playing, teasing, and then get upset because he does not want to just hang out with you, that is not his fault. That is your fault. It you is not his fault. Define fun before you go to the room. Define, like I asked, define I fun. said, <laughs> what is fun? You know, right. he said, because I, I could have been like, oh, well, maybe he means he wants to go ride horses with me. Or that trampoline place. What's the trampoline place where you go and you just jump on trampolines? No. no. Not, you want to go to catch air? That's what you're talking about, about trampolines. That's not fun. That don't sound fun to you. I think that'd be really fun. We. You want to go to kids, <laughs> fucking kids park? I would, th- but see, that's that's a good example. But I asked him what was fun. The right, girl exactly. that that future, you know, flew out there and she got mad because he didn't actually want to get in the studio <laughs> with her. Like we know what it is, but see, women try to be manipulative and we think, oh, I know he just wants to have sex, but I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna get in his head. Right. No, you're not. You're not gonna get in his head. He's very specific. So we need to hold each other accountable. Like if you go out there, then you know that man wants you to come specifically for sex. You go to the room, you're messing around, you're half naked, you're drunk. I'm not saying again, no one deserves to be raped, but we can do a big, we can really make a difference in putting ourselves in positions where we're not, we're not up for those situations. I can admit I was, I've been taken advantage of, but it was a situation I could have easily avoided Easily avoided. I didn't deserve what happened, but I could have, the person that I am now, the mature woman I am now, I would never have been in that situation. Crystal, you're a mom, right? I am. Are you letting your son walk through the hood with a huge chain with diamonds all on it? Hell no. Why? Because I know someone's going to try to take it. He doesn't deserve to be beaten up and robbed, right? Right, right. He doesn't deserve it. It's not right. But he's an idiot if he walks through the the hood with a big, goofy chain on with diamonds all over it. Right, you're asking someone to come take it. He's going to get beat up or take it. They're going to surround him and and take it from him. That's what what Joe Budden told Safari. Look, man, you're goofy. Like, what are you doing? (laughs) Well, no, I'm just saying, like, if, if, if you set yourself, if you put yourself in a position... Whether or not it's right or wrong, that, right. that's irrelevant at this point. Right. Mm-hmm. If you're somewhere behind enemy lines, and uh, sadly, women end up getting behind enemy lines once they're in that right. room, if it's an enemy that they're with. Well, it doesn't have to be an enemy. It could be your friend, but if he wants but he's to have an enemy sex, now. that's an enemy. He is now an enemy. If you don't want to have sex, if he does, you're behind enemy lines. And that's why I blocked this, this guy, because he is now an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? They call that victim blaming now. Like, if, if, if a girl gets raped in a dark alley, right. and you say, well, don't go in a dark alley. Right. But do you feel like her They're son... They're saying you're blaming the victim for, but we for don't, those circumstances. But we don't feel like that when we're talking about her son or my son or, who, or whoever's son. If, we're, if our son walks through the hood with a, with a big necklace on, we're not victim shaming him. We're like, man, you're stupid. You should, why'd you walk through there? I think it depends on the, on the, crowd, on the, on the audience because some people may feel like that as well. He deserves the, if, the right to walk through the hood with his I necklace on? I think some on? people no. would say, well, it, it depends on how... It depends on where you grew up. 
Because some people may not realize that that's. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. I'm going to tell you why. If my son walks in that studio hood with a necklace on. The zoo, for example, <laughs> the zoo. has plenty of signage. <laughs> And they've got physical barriers right. that say, do not feed the animals, yep. do not get close to the animals, yeah. Definitely you may touch view them. the animals right. from, behind. from this, behind this line. <laughs> right. 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 And every year, somebody <laughs> stumbles oh. into the cage, <laughs> That's right? True. Now they're in the gorilla enclosure. <laughs> now, aside, You're wondering why. Aside from the babies, because... But victims don't hold any responsibility, right? Aside from the babies, but even with a, with a baby, I feel like as a mother, if you're at the zoo, <laughs> right. that's not funny. But you you you, you know, a bit. toddlers are very very precarious people, right? But you know that you need to have an extra hand on them in certain areas. So, but I'm just saying we're gonna blame that young man. For showing off his necklace We're going to blame him We're not going to give him credit for I see I think some people Would have mm-hmm. sympathy for him And would not blame him no, They still him. would They yeah. have sympathy It's still unfortunate That yeah. it happened to but you But you're like Come on man Really but, Yeah like, really, like, really man Come on man and, Adulthood and it, Street sense You've got to Something's got to kick in To say right. Wait a second I'm 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 in over my head And if you're a woman And you go to the club And you get Way what out of your it. Your comfort zone As far as alcohol goes And you also decided that you didn't want to wear panties that night, and you also wore a skirt, and you're now yeah. on the floor, and it's it's coming up. I've seen, and, I, and like, I'm telling man. you, I would like people to chime in because this happens in Atlanta all the time. I remember my company did an event called Winter Ski Fest, great event, but they had serious parties, about 1,500 people partying. I, girls would do stuff that I would just wonder, like, what what outcome are you looking for? Right. If you're on the floor with your ass tooted up and you've drunk large amounts of alcohol, tooted. what is <laughs> tooted? I knew you knew tooted. <laughs> what what outcome are we looking for at this point? You know, and then if somebody say, and you know, fun, maybe that's fun. Maybe, maybe. It, well, that, again, that is why I blocked him. Well, you know, <laughs> when I think over my youth, I have definitely done some things that had me uh, in vulnerable positions. Um, you gonna leave it some, at that? <laughs> You're not gonna give us any kind of idea with. Hey, let's I mean, a, even a, even in trip, terms of how yeah. about how about a one night stand? Okay, right. Because because it's cool to just be at a physical level with people. <laughs> right. We've accepted that. We don't want to get emotional. We don't want to do any of that mm-hmm. stuff. We don't want to value and protect and, and marry each that other, be, so on and so forth. That would be preposterous. Our culture wants to keep it physical, right? Mm-hmm. And so, especially in your youth. So if you have a, a one-night stand, you don't know who this person is. You don't know, um, you don't know anything about them. You right. barely know their name, if right. that. Whoa, whoa, and, that's whoa. And I've had those. Ex- I'm just saying, I've had those experiences. Whoa, I've literally, God, sadly, yeah. I've literally met women and got intimate with them within minutes. Me too. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Consensually yeah. intimate. Yeah. Within minutes. Yeah. Where the next day, me rece- and my boys are talking. I want I'm like, receipts. Yo, I don't. I want receipts. I, I cannot. I can tell you the story. I can't give you receipts. Offline, a baby. I ain't incriminating <laughs> myself on the way. I don't know See, about this. I can this. pull it up twenty come years on, later. Come on, be honest. Get, come I, on. I have. I had a friend. His name was John Jackson. Um, really? Yeah. John his name was John Jackson. Jackson. Sorry. Can Man. you get any more generic? His, his, than his John girlfriend's Jackson? name was Quinesha Anderson. Okay. Now that now, now that's the she opposite. Went, she went to West Georgia College. <laughs> oh damn. Okay. <laughs> Quinesha <laughs> gonna come forward. I, Here I we was go. I was a, a a senior in high school. He he had graduated the year before me. He was going to West Georgia to see his girlfriend. He didn't want to ride alone. He's like, she got a roommate. She'll mm-hmm. fuck. I guarantee it. So I'm like, okay. I went on the premise that. I was gonna, but I didn't realize you were that gonna fuck a stranger. I didn't, right. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't even know if I asked how she looked. I remember riding to West Georgia oh, wow. College. Wow. We didn't, I remember riding, with, and we didn't speak about it at all. We didn't talk about this woman at all. Nothing. We get there. It's, um, I think it's about to be summertime or something. I know that it's definitely a Thursday. Normally, on a, a, a college like West Georgia, Thursday night everybody goes to Atlanta. They most of them live here, so okay. Friday nobody has classes. They go home Thursday night, wow. so that means that there are rooms that are kind of open. This is, so this is not looking good. We get to West Georgia College in the dorms, <laughs> in the girls' dorm. Mm-hmm. We're in the room, and we're there for maybe three minutes, five minutes. John and Quinnette say, "We're going across the hall." 
they go across the hall. I turn around from them leaving the, the door, and she's looking at me dead in my eyes, like, "What's up?" And so, what does she look like? I don't remember. I don't remember anything about this woman. I don't know her name. I don't know, remember anything. I don't remember anything about this woman. I don't even remember how the sex was. Do we even? Okay, so do we even know that? It happened this way. If you don't remember, no. Any of I, that. I, I mean, I gave you their names. And everything. I just don't. I think I, tra- I was traumatized by their names, but not. I blocked out the rest of it because that's part of the sketchiness of it. Like it, you don't. I don't know if you want to remember that all uh, the way. I'm not sure she was look good. Didn't matter though, really. I mean, for five minutes, I put no work whatsoever. There was no effort on my part. All I did, literally, I didn't even drive. I rode. I was in the passenger seat. It took the forty-five minutes you to were an hour. A scrub. You were in the passenger side of the best scrub. friend's ride. You were a scrub, and, and it still, still worked. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember anything about this encounter. It so happens. did you talk? She had finger waves. I remember that. <laughs> she was brown. She was brown skin. She had finger waves. Chances are. No idea what her name is, but she was DTF. Now, did I'm okay. down to fuck? I know. What, okay, I just want to make sure you know what that was. I, I watched yeah, a, lot of, a lot of, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the Jersey, Jersey Shore, Shore reruns. I watched oh, I a lot of the Jersey Shore. Now, I'm just wondering, what is the verbal exchange? <laughs> That's the funny part. There what was up? hardly any. We didn't even speak really. Hey, after matter got, of fact, the song goes, you ain't got to say too much. I can look <laughs> in your eyes and I tell you one. Oh. That's how it goes. It was something along the lines of about undressing. That's all I remember us even saying to each other. Do you want to get undressed now? I don't remember what the exact <laughs> words. I promise you, I, I, I must have blocked that part out because it was so odd. I mean, I, normally I feel like I'm a pretty good dude. So... That's odd now that I think back how how odd this whole thing was. How, that's a college story, though. It's a I was in high story. school. So that's, oh, that's, that's what made it even worse. worse. I was a Dang. senior. Okay. It's odd I don't remember any of it, though. Like, that's where I, my story ends. Maybe. And I remember we went and got something to eat, me and John, at Burger King on campus. After, But, like, between... But she didn't come between, with you? But No. Why? I don't know her. She doesn't know me. It was over. <laughs> Quinesha came with us. Oh God, that's because we were gonna go back to Atlanta. She came back to Atlanta with us. The girl never saw her again. Never. I didn't want her number. She didn't want my number. It was. It wasn't even. That wasn't the intention. It was almost like it was a gift for coming to get Quinesha <laughs> and bringing her home. She's like, "Yo, you can fuck my roommate for your trouble. If y'all come get me, <laughs> if he be rides, fuck, be like- fuck- <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel bad now. Now that I'm talking and it's coming out, I feel. I, I'm starting to feel bad because that is. That I'm was. Glad you that do. Was I'm glad. I'm, I, I'm glad you have emotions. I'm glad I don't remember anything else about it. I'm Maybe you blocked it out. I did. Maybe it's a mental block. I do that a lot, though. Oh, my God. There's stories that I start telling, and I realize I didn't remember the story, and I start feeling, <laughs> I start feeling bad about the story. I'm like, ooh. You block out stories that make you look bad. I look too good in this bad. story, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting myself mm-hmm. in a good light in this story. My brain is being affected. I don't understand how many. That's amazing. But oh, wait, I would, wait, say, wait, wait, I would wait. suggest So this. you you've never had a one-night stand? No, 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 no. And say, no, 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 no. She didn't go to the after party. No, I didn't. But I and I you've also got never, married. I also got married at twenty. But you've lived in Atlanta for a few years. Yes, but Atlanta. You. I have. Is, is capital I have. F. But it's not a it's not a safe place. And I and I don't know. I'm I'm being honest, and and most of my guy friends can attest to this. I don't really have dating skills for Atlanta because I was married really young, and I'm not really like, in the threesomes. Not in the threesomes at all. Mm. And like when a person says something to be like, can we have some fun? I immediately take that like you're calling me a whore, so I block you. So was this girl a whore? What girl? In West Georgia College. I think that she was a young woman who was probably misguided. Um, you know, she might... She misguided? What, who, by who? She know what she wanted. I threw, I threw no, no I would, game. I none. Would, I would be willing to bet... I was scared out of my mind. That she thought that she they, could talk to you. I bet she thought that, that you could be like her little light-skinned boyfriend. No. I think no, so. No. You don't know that. No. You don't know... <laughs> no. You don't know what she thought. You don't know what she thought. Man, all I know when the girl when the girl look at her friend and say, "Hey, girl, I'm going home with him." But I'm telling you, I was talking to one of my guy friends, right. and he See said, you later. "He said right. that he he never." I said, "Why would you assume this girl just wants to have sex?" He said, "Well, she know I know that she had sex with some of my other friends." I said, "No, no, no." She still thinks that something about her will make you open to having more with her than just Not sex. This chick, I'm, we Crystal, don't know. You didn't no. even know her name. Exactly. She didn't ask. She didn't tell me her name either. She didn't. Get, she might have thought somebody, she was gonna put it on you, and she was gonna whip you. She's she a college girl. Whipped. I'm a high school boy, which is even more reason why you should have been whipped. 
<laughs> no, I don't. What? I don't think that it went that way at all. I think she was like, "I like having sex." You got somebody coming? Okay, I'll have sex. <laughs> what? That doesn't even make any sense. He told me we you were never in had Atlanta. sex because you were bored. No, With nothing to do. I never had go sex. Nowhere. Where I was bored. No. You ever watch porno because you were bored? I Thank have you. I have watched Thank porn you. not because I was bored but because I might have been motivated to relieve myself. Okay. Okay. Not bored. Okay. Sex motivated. is not something you do when you're bored. What? I'm never having sex because I'm bored. I don't think I've ever had bored sex either. No, I don't. I, I, don't, I, don't I want, want to have sex. sex. Not because I'm bored. If I don't I'm, even like sleep sex. I don't mind that. I don't like it. Okay, so how about this? Maybe maybe you haven't had sex when you're bored. No. But have you ever been bored and said? See if I can give me some pussy. No. Oh, okay. Me, I see what you're saying. Let me see who I could text. I, I see what you're saying. Let me see who I could call. To get out of being bored, might as well. Might as well try to Got get some you. pussy. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't, I didn't know what he was talking no. about. First. I don't think women do that. No, they do. Come I really on. like the mm, guy. Absolutely. No, they Every like woman who has sex doesn't like the or guy. Or like the sex with the guy. No. No, no. it's not yeah. always about no, I think sometimes women just want something to do. No, I think that's men. Let's, let's, have, a, let's have a poll. Okay. Let's have a poll. Let's vote. Someone no. Had, someone had the poll. <laughs> That's the point. Ask. Someone had the poll. We're going to go later. But, but God, you know, I just think that, seriously, getting back to our topic, that if women held other women accountable and men held men accountable, there was a, there was a situation that happened here in Atlanta at a club the opera nightclub. There's video of it. It was on Facebook Live, which is horrific. Like, I'm so... Over us video. Was it the girl? The girl herself was went live. It was someone else it was live, and it showed her the guy. Oh, putting she wasn't something holding in her that, drink. that camera. She wasn't holding the camera. I thought she had. Well, it it. No, there's one of her holding. Because I haven't seen. Well, it. I, I've heard her about it on my talking, timeline, talking. but I don't. I don't no, know. No, no, no. There's one of her holding the camera because when she goes down or whatever, she's still there. But still, the other person went down with her. Like the director, well, no, like, but I guess I guess she was holding that, but that's and that's what's okay. Finish telling the story before we get into it. Yeah, okay, yeah, I guess because everyone like, well, that, that, with someone thought it was her somebody, her friend holding the camera, but I guess it could have been her holding the camera. But the point is, she's drunk. Yeah, everybody goes live now. That's what everybody does. Right. When and and people are drunk, but they're not in their right mind. The guy put something in her drink, and you do hear her saying help. So there was a big social media. You know, ruckus about it, and a lot of guys were like, um, you know, they didn't believe it. Now, a lot of guys I know are automatically skeptical when a girl calls rape, and I think that if more women would say, yes, there are there are a lot of situations of rape, but there are some situations where women are not telling the truth. Right. This girl, I don't think was lying. I do think that he drugged her, and I think that. I mean, it, to me, when I saw it, it looked it 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 looked like somebody who was incapacitated. Because you know, when you're when you're drunk or when you're I'm assuming when you're high, but when you're drunk. She's assuming when you're high. She's never gotten high. Go ahead, she Crystal. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. But I'm just saying, whatever is in a drink. I haven't right. I've never been drugged in a drink. Right. But I have never been drugged in a drink. Okay, no, I said right. No, he looked like I was not telling the truth and I'm going back and writing my my name. I've never been drugged in a drink. But well, okay, we case, believe you, lady. We believe you. In any you. case, you you you're going you're not gonna be an able to react. Okay. As you usually would, right? So okay. she, so it's apparent that she's under the influence of something, but she is is saying help. Okay, you know what I mean. So to me, that's like, why would someone say help me? That's not that's not a that's not a sexy thing to say during right. sex. Like if someone right. says help, stop. No. Well, I think that some guys feel like if you were acting, they would say help, stop, no, don't. I mean, that was very Willy, that's very what? Willy Wonka too. The stop, no, don't. That's from you know what I'm saying. That's. Remember no, I don't know what you're saying. I know what you're talking about. Stop, no, the, the don't. S- sarcasm, not stop, no, I'm really in help, but stop, no, you need help. So that, here's the thing. That's I, what he's saying. Again, so y'all are saying that, that women say that, but they really don't want you to stop, so you're looking at No, us. no, 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 no. Okay, okay. No, 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 I'm saying, saying that it, saying? It's a different path. No, no, okay. they're, they're totally different. What I'm saying is, first of all, let me say this. I haven't seen the video. I've seen very small clips because I, don't, I really don't want to watch the video. Yeah. Um, I've heard the video playing, mm-hmm. um, but I've, I haven't seen the video. Here's the problem that I have. From what I've been told... I keep hearing that he's drugged her, mm-hmm. but I don't think that there's any corroborated proof of that. In fact, I don't think anybody has any evidence of that. That's just what someone said on social media, and and it's been they ran with it. I don't know if there's any evidence that 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 he definitely drugged her. She may have been drugged. Mm-hmm. There's no proof that of that happening. There's no proof that he was the person that drugged her. Mm-hmm. So I keep hearing that she was drugged. She was incapacitated and couldn't do anything but scream for help. However, she is holding her cell phone perfectly aimed at her face. There, that's problematic. 
That's that's a little problematic. Then she's screaming, stop, help, or whatever. So in a club full of people, nobody was able to detect that? Well, I that. will say, and I think I've told you guys this story before, I, I saw a woman getting raped. You know, in, at Mardi Gras. I, I, mean, I haven't told this story. Maybe. You, at you Mardi did Gras. mention this yeah, at one point. Yeah, at Mardi Gras. And yeah. she was she was drunk. She she At at one point, she passed out. So, we're, you know, in Mardi Gras, the, the crowd is moving. Mm-hmm. There's an alley. There's all these different clubs all along the street. There was a woman in the alley. We blamed you for not helping her. You did blame me. Yeah. I, I was I was victim shit blamed. But I was with my ex-husband and his frat brother, and they were like, come on, that's not our issue. The entire street throng of people were walking by, and I'm not the only person that saw that. People continued walking by. And this woman was clearly being how do raped. You, how do you know? What what did you actually see that was happening? I saw her saying, pushing the guys away, and the guys were being very, there's two guys that were being very rough with her. It was a white guy, a white woman and two white men. And she was literally like, she was, out, I can still see it. She had a jean skirt on and a tank top, dirty blonde hair, and she was just kind of like. So we're not talking penetration rape. We're talking about rape. No, they, no, penetration rape. So you stayed long enough to see them. I was walking by and I was looking like, I was looking and saying, you know, we should go help. But they, they were like, no. So the guy has her from the back. And she actually threw up because the other guy's trying to like, Ugh. yeah, it was it was really bad. It was really bad. She threw up while he was, and they're in the middle of a crowd. They're in an alley on the side, so they're not really in the crowd, but they're kind of off. Off, off. But to people, the side. if they but looked, they could have seen it. Yeah, is that the same thing as being in the middle of a club where people are in within arm's reach and can I hear you? I think the screaming? point I'm trying to make is that people would watch and still not do anything. Possibly, possibly, especially if, and I'm going to be honest, if I saw a girl. That was drunk because I've been around so many parties that girls are drunk and doing things that I, you know, putting themselves in situations that I think is going to get them in trouble. Right. A lot of times I just turn a blind eye because I don't want to be involved because I feel like I've been judgmental. I can admit that and thought she's drinking, she's drunk. She's I mean, it's annoying sometimes. And and I might not have stopped to think maybe that girl was accidentally raped, accidentally drugged. I, I would have assumed right. that she was like all the other girls that I see with 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 bottles to, turned up, letting guys, you know, yeah, get you them drunk. you can't toot a bottle up. They you're do. About, they do. You have you guys seen it where it looks up. like they all basically simulate oral sex with the with the with the Yeah, but uh, you can toot a booty. You can't toot you a bottle. Tooted, they tooted it up. But a lot, I've, I've, I'm just saying if I saw a girl... <laughs> And a guy doing something, I may not, unless I heard her, her her saying something, I may not get involved just because I've seen so many situations where girls are open to doing stuff that I don't think that they should be doing. My two arguments were, well, the first one is if that they were people were saying that the people around maybe couldn't hear her because it was loud in the club. Mm-hmm. That's a valid argument. And people tend to mind possibly. their own business. I, I don't know that's true. I think that when people see somebody fucking in a club, they're going to look. Because you don't, you don't have, don't fuck around me and think I'm not going to sit there and watch I've you. I've seen people eh, have sex in a club. And I mean, there's, there's, there's minding your I mean, own business and then there's yeah. voyeurism. Like, I ain't paying no attention, but especially nowadays, everybody has their phones and we, there's, there's yeah. anonymous videos that people don't know they're being recorded while and they're right. having sex. I, I don't that know. That kind of thing happens. Here's my argument though. Hold on. Let me get my <clears> argument. <throat> okay. If it's possible that the people around her did not recognize that she was crying for help because mm-hmm. there was too much going on, music, noise, whatever, is it also possible that he didn't know that he was raping her? Is that um, possible? I don't think so. Why? Um, I just feel like, I mean, unless he was drunk out of his mind. Possibly. But, but what I'm saying is, is it possible that if nobody else knew that she was screaming for help, that he also didn't hear her screaming? Is it possible? Well, she said no, and the guy heard. I'm going to read the the husband's statement that he posted on his Husband Instagram. of who? The husband of the woman. Oh, wow. I want to address this one time. This morning was the first time I watched the video, and my wife was clearly raped. I'm sorry for speaking out of anger. I was upset at the moment. I have and will defend my wife. I said everything was out of anger because I never had this much load on my back at one time. I'm sorry for letting this, Jasmine, I'm sorry for letting this happen. No, I'm not the one that raped my wife. I'm more hurt and embarrassed than anything. Yes, she was drugged up. I finally watched the whole video, and I know my wife better than anybody. Once my wife told him no, everything after that was rape. There's nothing else to say. Um, he said that his wife had talked to the Atlanta PD, and the guy was lying. He's not free of charges, and the rape, te- the rape kid has not come back yet. He lawyered up and got questioned and was let go until the investigation is over. Anybody believing anything else is clowned. He just doesn't know he made things worse. 
by saying that. No. It, um, he, 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 anybody who's saying anything else is a clown, come on, man. There, there is always more than one side to it. So if you're not saying exactly what he's saying, you're a clown, I don't know. Well, I think that, I mean, but then you have to realize if a man sees his wife in that situation, of, of course he would say that. And a man according would also to lie him, too, though. According to that, she's, he's, the woman is pregnant. She's pregnant now? She's pregnant now. But the, yeah. There's a lot of there's a wow. lot to this. There's so many wow. layers to this. Yeah. So wow. here's my thing, though. The rape kit hasn't come back. What about the toxicology report? He said she was <laughs> drugged. Why, why isn't there one of those happening? But a toxicology report would not come back that quickly either. But well, he, didn't speak, he didn't speak again about that. Yeah, he didn't, but I'm just saying... That, that, I would that need might, to see a toxicology... I would, not me. It doesn't matter what I think. But I'm well, saying... a rape kit, my, in my opinion, a rape kit can only come back um, affirmative or... or, or with with the option if if there was physical force because a rape kit is basically testing to see if there's bruising in the vagina tears or something tears and bruising in the vagina so there first of all there can be consensual sex that would not pass a rape kit true right I and have there it quite can, often and, right I got we bought a and massage then, table and then and we then, don't use and, it for massages okay, and then no and then there is <laughs> There is, um, there can be, I'm off. True, it's right no, above no. us. It's so, right there. help me, Kevin. I'm drowning. Um. <laughs> All right, look, so let, let, me, let me just, let me say this. I, I, I think that it's really, unfortunate is probably too light a word to use. Mm-hmm. But yeah. for, for the men that have transgressed and the women that have lied, I think it's unfortunate that they have turned good men and good women against each other. Mm-hmm. Where it's made us afraid of each other. Mm-hmm. We don't trust each other. Right. Um, so on and so forth. Yeah. And so I, I, I definitely w- want to participate in the rebuilding of that bridge. Right. Um, how that happens or what that looks like. I don't know. I just mm-hmm. told you. I, I started it myself tonight. Yeah, but I mean, okay, let me be, you can give them a 10-minute head start or whatever. I mean, I don't know that people are necessarily going to respect a citizen's arrest. <laughs> I'm not going to arrest him. I'm not going to arrest him. But no, no, but, but honestly, my, my opinion matters. My opinion matters. Stop, sir. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop no. right there. Kevin, no. you're, you're telling me. Citizen's arrest. You're telling me right now you don't give a fuck what I think. He said I'm you can have it. How about say right now? You got ten minutes, and I'm gonna call nine one one. No, I'm saying you don't get you don't give a fuck what I think. So you're telling me that if you did something like that around me and I ostracized you just publicly right, or just in front of you, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? That, that's not cool. No, that's, you're telling me that's not gonna affect you at all. I think it would. You don't think well, so? I think, I, I, like I said, I don't know what it looks like or how it's done. If you handle it in a certain way, especially in terms of your house, yeah, you can do that. If I'm in your in house terms and I'm public, like, man, what the fuck are you doing? You're telling me that's not going to affect you. Mine and your relationship. I'm not talking yeah, about but we, hypothetical. And that's just it. We're we're friends. So, exactly. we, got, so we have a certain rapport there. That's what I'm and saying. We have, we Everybody have, has a friend, though. You see what I'm saying? All the rapists have a friend. Somebody has to say that's not cool. I'm not willing to accept you being that kind of person. Well, this is just a- it. Like me. in in the, in the R. Kelly scenario, uh-huh. his his friends and business associates and partners and so on and so forth, they were complicit, up, right? And they were they were enablers. What they were, right? Right. So that's if where it no starts. one if no one inside your circle is going to say you can't do that, right. somebody from outside the circle has to say. Hey man, stop that nah, shit right now. But that's the thing though. People inside the circle have to do it. That's where it starts. It has to start with Police me. Police your see- circle. It has to start with me seeing you and I saying agree. no. Police I agree your that circle. Has, that you should that we I I agree with that. I don't know about the 10 minute head start. Well, I mean, me and Kevin got to have a, 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 a history. I mean, I'm saying I'm going to give you no, 10 no, minutes. No, I, I, I because I mean, I, because I I don't I, yes, I'm about to snitch on you. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to not feel the, the full Get effect out of, of dodge. This, this snitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe you can go somewhere. But, but what you're going to know now, I have symbolically told you this shit is not cool. Right. And I have judged you. Now, I feel, I, I want to believe that my friends respect, respect my friendship that much and that right. would affect them. Mm-hmm. I don't believe Kevin at first when he said, oh, shit. He was about to say, no, no he would. He would give a fuck I if think, I gave I think a fuck. That, I think that people, but I also think that people tend to hang around people with similar moral compasses as True. themselves. So I don't, well, except in, 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 in some cases, because there was a situation that we had with right. your, some of your friends where the guy was totally out of what you would have done. For me, I, I don't hang around girls that, 
toot the bottle up and get so drunk that they don't know where they are. Right. But I have, I remember being in college and a girl was, we were, she and I were hanging out for the first time and she was like, don't let me, don't let me go anywhere, but don't let me go anywhere with someone else. And I was like, what do you mean? What are you about like, to do? What? what are you about what? to be involved in? That- and I remember I told her, I was like, look, I'm not, because I'm not going to do that. I'm not into that. But now, you know, I, had- I saw girls do that in the club already. They cock block left and right. Random I, dudes yeah. trying I'm to talk But I don't have girlfriends that get so drunk that they can't stand up. That's where it starts, too. I don't There's have There's no friends. case you can make for wanting to get that drunk. You can't tell me, I should be able to get as drunk as fuck and be... No, what, what's it, the it case for being sense. that drunk? Yeah, it doesn't it make sense. It starts there, and it starts there, what we were saying. Yeah. You, inner circle has to please, please the inner circle, and women have to stop allowing themselves to be so inebriated that they're not in control of their families. And I think that we have to stop, stop protecting women who are lying. We have to put them out and make an example of them, just like we're making an example of the men that are committing the rapes. Who's willing to say that we have to stop drinking the way that we do as a culture? That's what I was just saying, though. Well, I don't, who, that's what I I don't drink no, but No, but we didn't, we didn't especially say, like, you, you, I think yeah. you did say inebriated. Right. But, like, let's call it what it is. Shitty drunk. Right. Sloppy. Shit like, it's get, Shit face. Yes, yes. It's, it's a culture. It's, it's a culture. It's, it's a norm to mm-hmm. party and get so drunk that you don't remember what happened last night. And that's not attractive at all. Like that, and that, that leads to, and I, I would, I would, I would take a chance to say, as much as we know men have no issue, don't have the same issues with sex as women do, I'm sure some men have slept with a woman that they really would not have slept with had they been sober. And it might have been a horrible experience for them, you know? Mm-hmm. Come out of the closet, I g- guys. I got, I'm a little closet, with but I got, a, I got a bad story for that too. I bet you do. Really bad story. <laughs> That's the bad part about it. It's all black. I don't know. I don't remember. I I, I promise. You do you want this story as well? <laughs> <laughs> you're only going to give us the parts until until they get bad. Then you're no, gonna no, no, black no, out. no. I had a next morning revelation. Okay, to this okay, one. Yeah, we, yeah. Let's go in. Let's go in. Why? Not? <sighs> so one time I went to this girl house, man, and and the bad part about this house was it was the filthiest house I've ever seen in my life. But I was drunk already. I was going to get some pussy. I mean, it, drunk, it was bad. Like I looked at beside me, it was a plate with like still like a corner of a cheeseburger on it. Like it was, you know, what I'm saying like on the sofa, and we had just walked in. Oh my god! From being at the club or something, you know what I'm saying? So oh it's like, okay, I was like, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna sit right here. <laughs> so the last thing I remember, it said, she said, "Can I sit on it?" I was like, "Sure." I wake up the next morning. <laughs> in in her bed. Can I sit on it? Sure. Yeah, that's that's Blackout. the last thing I remember. No, the next morning I wake up. She says she's got this look on her face, like she's. I wake up to see her kind of smiling. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't remember anything. So you went to sleep there. Yeah, you could have got. Well, I mean, sleep or- is a is a, less a loose term. I don't know if it was sleep. <laughs> it was unconscious. And she's like, man, I haven't done that in such a long time. <laughs> That was so. That was so wonderful, and I have no. I was a, too afraid to ask her what it that was. <laughs> and I still don't know this thing. I left the house that day. <laughs> we we talked more. You know what I'm saying? I may have had sex with her again, but I never asked. But she was so <laughs> pleased, and I have no idea what the fuck she did. Mm-hmm. Nothing that she. I have no idea what she did that was that she hadn't done in a while. But well, what did you do? I have no idea, and <laughs> she- I'm and I'm okay not knowing. <laughs> I was walking straight, so I don't, I'm assuming it wasn't nothing that involved penetration, but I don't know what the fuck it was. I have no idea what me and her did, but she was so happy and so pleased because she hadn't done that in a long time, Woo! and I never asked. So, I mean, I have some weird stories, too, I guess, but I'm not, I'm not that much of a good person, I don't think. I'm, you're yeah. finally coming to terms with the it. The fuck is wrong with me? I, it's been apparent to everyone that listens to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tanya. I remember her name. She had a very shallow vagina. Okay. It was like <laughs> okay. It was like okay. four inches or All so. Right. It was hey. like four inches hey. deep. It's time for us to wrap this up. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our Negro friends. <laughs> it's, time for us. it's time for us to go. Um, but I think that we should really start a movement, guys. I think that we should really start the 10-minute rule. And I'm just going to definitely... 10-minute rule. I, <laughs> I, I have this thing that I believe I am my sister's keeper, but I think I am my sister's keeper um, should apply to more than just holding them accountable for self-love and business. It also should apply to... We have to be accountable. If that man has told you that he wants sex, then you need to ex- either be willing to give the sex to him or leave him alone. And I think we also need to 
Police your circle. We need to separate because what we're talking about is situations that involve alcohol or things like that. Right. But there also is probably a, not probably, there's also a date rape side of this that has nothing to do with being inebriated or in the wrong place at the wrong time mm-hmm. or somebody saying something about the inner circle. Mm-hmm. If it's just a man and a woman together, they're what's on a date, what everybody thinks is a date up until the point where they get home and then he forces himself on her or whatever. Yeah, date rape. I don't know how to fix that one, but I'm talking about well, the situations I think, right. where... Well, I think that's, that's difficult, but I, I will say I've had a situation with that. That was my situation was date rape, but I, I didn't know the guy enough to be at his house. And so... Um, even though it def- I definitely, and I went over there late. And so um, l- looking back on it, I did not deserve what happened. Right. But um, I, d- you, you know. How not- would you have known though? How would you have yeah, known that? I would that, not have known. You can't, you can't blame yourself for that because how would you have known? But I, what I can do is I can, and I, ta- I tell my daughter, you know, you don't go to guys' houses that you're not familiar with late at night if you don't intend to have sex. And I knew I didn't want to have sex with him. And he did force me to, and I I remember getting up. I remember I was I slept on the floor in the corner. Damn. Yeah, it was bad. But but um, my friend that introduced us was horrified, and I told when I told him what happened, he wanted me to call the police. But I was too embarrassed to call the police because I felt like I deserved it because I went over there. You know. Wow. So um, anyway. Not cool, dude. Shout yeah. his name out. I don't. I, it's it's bad. Nigga? Yeah, it's bad. But 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 and, and it, it was years ago. But it still it does a lot to a woman when that happens. So I do want to let people know that 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 does happen. Not every woman is lying about it, but the women that are lying about it are doing a disservice to the ones of us that have gone through that. Well, you know, there's another layer. I'm sorry. I know we're about to go. There's another layer to that too, though. At some point, we as men and women have to recalibrate what consent is. Right. That's true. Because everybody's idea of consent is not the same. It's been skewed for so many years. Right. And now there's this brand new movement that's like consent. You have to say yes to each part of sex. Like, head, can you, will you suck my dick? Oh, wow. Will you let me put this, you know, can I put right. it, can I do doggy style? Can You know, and you have to get acceptance on each. Every time you change position? You can't, you can't take off the condom. You can't. No, well, that's a every, whole nother. That, that so should be a consent. We need to recalibrate on what consent, what's considered consent. Wow. Mm. That condom thing is because I have heard people say that the guy took the condom off when they um, and they did not know that, right? You know, because depending on the situation, you may or may not feel that. So I don't know how. Hey, it's. I mean, uh, women and men are built different. This is this is true. You need to tight, get a rejuvenation so you can feel the, the dick in from the condom because if it's if it's walls just invisible. Or, Ooh. Yeah, well, we don't need to go into all the details, hey, but you know what I'm yeah. talking about. Ooh, 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 <laughs> oh my God. I'm just saying, if you got on the, you know, you know, if you stuck your hand in in a sink full of water, right, with a mm-hmm. glove on, you know what that feels like. You take that glove off, but you know that your from, hand is th- your the, bare hand is touching yeah. water. But you're coming from the perspective of the hand, the dick side. I'm, yeah. I'm supposed to come from the dick well, side. No, but saying, how would a woman? How would the bucket know if you had yeah. a glove on your hand? Yeah. And if it's a bucket, it might not feel any. Especially of it. if it's very wet. It's a very <laughs> wet bucket. Not always the same. Oh man, hey, tighten your bucket. You gotta ju- don't rejuvenate get your bucket. Don't I, get I don't have wet. any bucket answers. I'm. <laughs> He's speaking from the other side. I, I don't own yeah. a bucket. Yeah. Well, I'm saying I, I own said, a mop. Yeah. <laughs> speaking for bucket owners everywhere, that is, and then, you know, it, it's just tricky. It's a slippery slope. Literally. Literally. Yep. Yeah. Because once you, once you get. <laughs> I hate to end on that note. You hate to end on that? That's a good note. <laughs> it's like it's a you finally slippery. got a zinger at the end. <laughs> Crystal got a zinger. <laughs> I did it. She's so proud. <laughs> Like, share, and subscribe. Music Club Play.